So just returning to 1D, just for simplicity, we'll do all our derivations in 1D, and then we'll just present the equations in 3D. We want to try to manipulate this equation a little farther. We have this velocity here. And the manipulations we're going for is I want to get this equation in terms of pressure. Okay. So does anyone know an equation that relates velocity to a function of pressure, maybe a pressure gradient? Darcy's law, right? So Darcy's law says that the velocity is equal to sorry. Darcy's law says the velocity is equal to the negative of K as some permeability. Mu is the viscosity, so the permeability of the matrix. Mu is viscosity of the fluid times the pressure gradient. Right. And of course, in 3D, it's a velocity vector, but it's really the same equation, except now K is a tensor. And we have the gradient operator plus counting for the potential that in 3D we'll have gravity. I mean, I guess when we in 1D we're assuming we've oriented our dimensions such that gravity is not in the direction of our axis, right? Gravity's not acting along the direction of motion, mass. Okay, so I could plug the, and I will in just a second, I'll plug in mu there, but we want to solve this equation in the reservoir, right, for conditions in the reservoir. But typically we do all our measurements for experimental reservoir properties in the lab at the surface under standard conditions. So standard conditions is like 14.7 PSI, atmospheric conditions, right? But in the reservoir, you have higher pressures, right? So um, what we'll do then, we have something called a formation volume factor. And we'll use the symbol B and you know some subscript. So the L is like the species. I mean, it, it, typically we'll just talk about it like it's gas, oil, or water, right? So if I have B sub G, it's B sub it's gas. If I have B sub O, it's oil. B sub W, it's water. Right? And it is the volume of that species under reservoir conditions divided by the volume of that species under standard conditions, which is you can show is equivalent to uh, the density standard conditions divided by the density reservoir conditions. And, you know, for, for a gas, you're going to have a, re a formation volume factor that's much less than one. For an oil, formation volume 
the fact that it's going to be greater than 1. And for water, uh, the formation volume factor is going to be on the order of 1. So if I now use Darcy's law, plug it in for the velocity there, at the same time, I'm going to divide this both sides of the equation by 1 over the density in reservoir conditions. I'm sorry, standard conditions. One under the, over the density under standard conditions. Because this density is, the density of what we're solving for, we're solving the equation in, under reservoir conditions, right? So the, the density that